This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. We've done a uh, tutorial on type on a path or text on a path. This time we're going to do text on a closed path. Uh, it's fairly easy to do and simple to understand. So here you see this skateboard wheel and what we want to do is place some text so that it follows the skateboard wheel. So what I'm going to do is come down here and click on my ellipse tool. Now, the ellipse tool will bring up some options in the options palette because we just want the path we want to select the second options paths instead of the other two so we just want paths and again if you don't see your ellipse tool you can just click and hold down and there it is ellipse tool make sure it's paths and I'm gonna come over here and just drag out a path but I'm gonna hold down my shift key to make it a perfect circle while holding down my shift key I'm gonna hold down my space bar so I can move this right into place so your space bar allows you to move this around so I'm holding down two keys right now my shift key to constrain the ellipse to a perfect circle and my space bar so that I can move this path around so I'm gonna get it that's looking pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and let go so now we have this path and you can see over here my layers palette actually my pass palette if I click on pass and activate that there is my working path and it, it's circular in shape I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to come over here and get my type tool. Select my type tool. And you want to pay careful attention because you can see the type cursor right now. It's the I-beam with the two brackets around it. And as I get close or hover over the path, it's going to change to an I-beam with a little path through it. So there you can see the little I-beam with the little path. I'm going to go ahead and click right there. And I'm going to just type in skateboarding. So there you can see the text automatically went around the path. And what I can do is get my direct selection tool. It's over here next to the type tool. You can just hit the A key as long as you're not in type mode. So I'm going to get the direct selection tool. And I'm going to come over here to my skateboarding text. And what you can do is, if you'll notice, right when I'm over the skateboarding text, the I-beam has this little... Um, it, it, down here it's nothing but the direct selection tool but as I get in close to the type it turns into a little I-beam with a little black arrow you can kinda of see the little black arrow in the S I can click and hold down I can drag this around so you can see there goes the skateboarding around 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 until it starts disappearing so I'm gonna drag that back I think I like it right about right there so you can easily just move it back and forth what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my layers palette I'm gonna just hide the wheel you don't necessarily need to do this, but it's going to make it easier for you to see what's going on here. Again, I got my direct selection tool. I'm going to come over here to that, that little black arrow up here. So I'm going to click and hold down and drag inside the circle. You can see I can even place text inside the circle, and I can move that text around all I want. I actually don't want it there, so I'm going to drag it right back out and place it right in the middle. So that looks really good. I'm going to bring my wheel back. There's a wheel right back in the center. And I can always, as long as the text tool is selected, I can do a control T and I can transform this. Again, I like to hold down my shift on my in this case if I hold down shift, it allows me to constrain it to a circle, but notice how it kind of gets off of the wheel center. And so I really don't want to do that. I'm gonna undo that. And instead I'm gonna hold down my shift and my alt key. Then I'm gonna drag out and that takes it from the center of the circle. I'm gonna let go and hit enter. You can see that adjusted as well. I kind of liked it the other way so I'm going to control alt Z to undo and uh, there you have it. So skateboard going around this, the uh, path that we made with the ellipse tool over here in the vector tools. Really useful tool for creating logos and things like that. So hope this tutorial was useful and get to placing type on a path. This is Scott with tutorialstop.com.